Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan said, no, what's your issue? And this leads me to another fa'adah. Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan, rahmatullahi was an individual that was very known for his recitation over individuals that have problems with jinn, that have problems with evil eye, that have problems with uh, jealousy, and the likes of that. Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan, and I will go into another story from that regard. Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan, the, sh- the individual said to, to the sheikh, your sheikh, my mother, she needs to be read over. Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan came over to the car and read over the female while she was sitting, while she was sitting in the car. I've never seen uh, a jinn come out or be affected by a scholar like I've seen it affected by Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan. Yes, we've read in the books before, a jinn being affected by Imam Ahmed, a jinn being affected by Ibn Taymiyyah, so much so an individual can come to Ibn Taymiyyah, like you find in some of the books of Ibn Taymiyyah, an individual can come to Ibn Taymiyyah and say, Yeah, Shaykh, my son is sick in the house, and we believe it's the jinn. Ibn Taymiyyah is saying to the individual, go back and say to your son, and there's no doubt his jinn can hear, say to your son that if the jinn does not leave, I will come to the house, and the jinn leaving immediately. The ulama mentioned because it has something to do with the taqwa of the individual who is reciting. It has something to do with the taqwa of the individual who is reciting. I recall one day an individual approached me and said that he feels that one of his family members is affected by a jinn. And he wants Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan to read. Although Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan did not like to be known for that. He did not like to be known that he recites over people. It was not something common amongst the salaf, I recite, come to me. No. If they recited and people knew, they would come to them. But they did not like to be known for, for, for this. They liked, to busy, they liked to busy themselves with knowledge. And if from time to time they recite over someone, then that was not a problem. So I told the individual, I said, the Sheikh doesn't like to be known for this, but if it's an emergency, come pray with me at the Sheikh's house, and at the masjid next to the Sheikh's house, and inshallah, I will talk to the Sheikh after Salah, and inshallah, the Sheikh will recite over the family member. That took place. The Sheikh said, bring the person inside. We brought the person inside. And I've been present with other recitations over jinn and the likes of that, people possessed and the likes of that. The jinn sometimes takes 20 minutes to start talking. It sometimes takes a half hour. Sometimes the jinn never talks. Once again, based on the taqwa of the reciter. Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan sat next to the person that was affected. And he was reciting quietly to himself. I, don't even, I cannot even tell you at this moment what were the surahs that he was reciting. He was reciting to himself. Wallahi, tallahi, billahi, within 15 seconds, the jinn started screaming. Within 15 seconds. The jinn said, let's get out. I want to leave. I'm not going to stay here. Why is he reciting? The likes of that. I could not believe my eyes. I've been present before. I've seen the same thing done before by other individuals. The jinn is patient. The jinn can handle it. I'm not going to show myself. I'm going to make them think that I'm not even here. And the likes of that, the jinn started within 15 seconds. The jinn was agitated. The jinn was affected. The jinn was bothered. The sheikh read to himself, and I couldn't even read. I didn't even hear what he was reading. Then the sheikh said, after about 15 minutes, the sheikh said, Mustafa come into the hallway. We went into the hallway of his home. He said, take them home and continue reciting. I said, yeah, sheikh, Taib, this is not my field. I do not know about reciting. He said, no, the jinn is so upset it's going to leave. Just recite for a few minutes, it's going to leave. And so on, of what he led, we, we took the individual home, we read for a few minutes, and the jinn, and the jinn left. Sheikh Abdullah Gudayan was an individual of sahib al-taqwa. He was an individual of taqwa. 